Sound Studios of the Bites on IFM. Good afternoon and welcome to this week's edition of the Roundtable. My name is Major Daniels and uh, today uh, on the program we will, we will be looking at the restriction uh, the Ondo State Government placed on the operation of a cutter rider, that is commercial motorcyclists in Ondo State. As you will recall that last Friday the government put out a statement uh, by the, signed by the uh, Commissioner for Information, uh, Mr. Donald Ojogo, uh, that ends forth in Ondo State, Okada riders should now operate between 6 in the morning uh, and 6 in the evening. That is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, ever since then, uh, a lot of uh, issues have been coming out from, from that uh, particular statement, that particular uh, directive. Uh, it, the press statement was not just about Okada riders. Government also said uh, uh, anyone in Odo State who drives a, tint, a, a, a vehicle with tinted glasses must have a duly certified permit from the relevant security agencies. So these uh, are the issues uh, th uh, we'll be talking about on the program this afternoon. And I'm being joined by the Senior Special Assistant to Governor of Fondo State on Special Duties, uh, Dr. Doi Odebo Ali. You're welcome on the program, sir. I thank you so much for having me. Uh, so on Friday, government put out a statement. And in that statement, uh, the, the, the governor said that there was some intel at uh, the disposal of the government yes. uh, that made the government take that decision uh, to receive Treat the activities, uh, the operation of Okada riders, and then those who drive uh, tinted vehicles. Yes. How, how, how does that enter, that particular enter that was referred to in that statement, how does it relate to uh, the operation of Okada riders? In yeah, I, I thank you. It's, most of the reports we received concerning robberies, you know, rape, and, you know, Regrettable acts of criminality, all of them were linked to men, gunmen who were on Okada. You know, we received reports from Shagari, from Oda, from um, the, from Gaga, then there was the other one from um, this place, Obaile, you know, like that. So it was, it was, it was becoming a daily, not only a daily, it was becoming, it was see, every, everybody now believes that well, we are, in, we are, we are sleeping gradually into the obedient state of nature, you know, criminals now have, you know, they, they move freely, they ride on Okada, then of course banks are scared to even operate fully. You find people not wanting to move near ATM machines again and stuff like that. So all of this informed uh, why the governor decided to to act. And of course, it's going to be for a while, it's just to you know, just to stem the tide. It is not uh, a forever thing. It's no, going no, to no, last no, for a while. No, okay. no, 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 no. It has never been. You you recall that during COVID, you know, we restricted movements, you know, for the sake of the people. So it has become exigent that we do that now. And as we review the situation, of course, we advise the governor, and of course, the governor will take the best decision for the people at any given time. Now, between Friday and now, has government carried out enough enlightenment uh, to make all of the riders it's aware of this? It's an ongoing thing. fact, if you, uh, in, uh, if you move to town now, you see CR men. They move from park to park to let them know. And they, I mean, if they want to be fair to the government, they will tell you that there has been no decision taken by this government that they will tell you that they are not aware of. So they, they, they were consulted? They were, they were told. Why well, well, I'm, well, I'm asking you that, uh, Dr. Debois, is because I know that uh, at the moment in Nondo State, they don't have a union. I know at some point the union was prescribed by the government. No, 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 no. the union was not prescribed. The, okay. The, the, the then executive was suspended. Okay. The, the, you see how the structure. They are still the ones. In but there's China. no recognized chairman. No, are, we have coordinators in each of the local governments. In in Akure South now there is um Kafaro Yeliri, who is the uh, coordinator for Akure South. We have them in in all the eighteen local governments. So tomorrow the police commissioner will be meeting them at uh, officers' mess. Be meeting the the coordinators and um, and the operators themselves. So it's not as if um, they are not controlled. No, that's not true. That's not. It's just that those who took it upon themselves to be stealing government money to be to be misbehaving, 
be disturbing even the peace of the people of the state were the ones who were asked to leave the, the state. The, the coordinators were they put it put there put in place by government or, yes. or by the Okada riders themselves? No, no, by the government. Of okay. course, they were. Well, from among the from Okada, among the Okada, Okada riders, precisely. Okay. Okay. Exactly, yeah, from okay. among them, yeah. So uh, it, it is safe to say now that all of them, uh, were, they were consulted and they are aware of, of the new directive. In, in fact, when the when the governor spoke, you know, we could not wait. That Friday, we couldn't wait. But first, the governor just said, oh, we should let it out immediately. You know, the security people know how they do their things. And of course, they, it was they who advised that we must do it immediately, you know. I mean, maybe I should be a bit free. We now know that because you don't have policemen on our roads again, you find the influx of men on Okada coming in in the evening at around 3, 4. From other states? From Oshun State. Okay. From Moniparanga, from Ogun State, you know, like that. They come in and they roll. They come in, they will perpetrate you know, acts of criminality and they move back. So now we have been compelled to now move out I'm not taken from the forest to now move into the city. It's like we are expanding the scope of Amateku. I know Amateku was established to complement the efforts of the police and other security agencies. But they are not, you know, since they are not forthcoming now, so we have no choice other than to bring them out. So if you are coming from Ore, for instance, you you meet Amateku hmm. on the road. If you have, you know, any any major town now, you see them on the express, you know, monitoring. You find them when you are coming into Ondo State from Oshun State. Now you will find them. You know, of course, you don't, we, we we don't believe in noise making in Ondo State. You see, you won't find anybody with any uniform, you know, brandishing weapons or whatever. But you, you find them now. But we we know they are being distracted. Now uh, you mentioned that the policemen. Th th that is a fact that uh, uh, it, we don't see them on the road. Uh, as we used to, mm -hmm. and that uh, is a fallout of the NSAS uh, yes, protest. Yes. In other states, is government doing anything to uh, to uh, talk to the policemen, to oh, find a way of, of uh, yeah, getting we, them? Yeah, we, I, I just told you now that the police commissioner will be meeting the Okada riders tomorrow at 11 at the officer's mess. You know, we, we, we talk to them, we talk to them. But let me say this clearly. We cannot continue to live in self-denial. We brought this thing upon ourselves. How so? When the answers and protests started, it was not against the police as an institution. It was a protest against what they call, what some people termed, police brutality. And they identified certain nefarious activities of some bad elements within the Nigerian police. But a situation where you now criminalize, you demonize every policeman, you be you you go after them, you kill them, you burn them, you eat them, and we we, we don't seem horrified. Even the officers, the 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 IG, permit me to say this, I'm not I'm not I'm not impressed with this IG. This IG. Why do you say so? Because you see that they are killing your people. You are talking for community policing. You are no. I mean. I, I, I'm not happy with him at all. You reduce human beings to mere statistics. We lost 25. We lost 22. We lost 100 AK 47. Is that is is that it? An institution that you had was that assailed? You have not resigned. How, how do you think? I, I, how do you think that should have been handled? Because some of these pro protesters, the NSAS protesters, uh, are saying that hoodlums hijacked. As uh, a matter of fact, for the first two, three days, the real protesters had their say and the government listened to them. And SARS, SARS was prescribed. They now say, oh, every state should empanel a judicial commission of inquiry to look into the complaints of the people, genuine complaints of the people. Then these elements, these Yahoo Yahoo people, now came in. You are journalists, move around, you move around town now, you see that the Yahoo, the criminals have taken over. They celebrated the defeat of the Nigerian police. And you want the police to come and do what? If you if, if anything happens now, you want to go and report where are the stations that have been burnt? You see these criminals moving straight into where police were keeping their exhibits. 
They went to destroy this exhibit. They went straight for the armory. Broke the place. Took away weapons. Then those who had had cases with the police in the past went after those who prosecuted them. Attacking them. Who were jubilating. Answer, answer. Then from there, they said, Buhari must resign. A lot of these people. Criminals sponsored this. And some politicians also had a hand in it. Look at what happened in Lagos. You wanted to end SARS. SARS ended. You moved to MPA. You bought BRT buses. You went to ShopRite. You went to TVC. You went to The Nation. You left out some. In Nyondo State here, three days before they went to destroy Okitupa, we had, we got this credible intelligence that they were going to do so. A day before they even went, we heard that they were meeting at Aika. On that morning when they were coming, we were told nobody did anything. You lost an so election. The, the governor had that intel. The governor had that intel. All of us did. Uh, and did the you, governor did, moved. Did, did, did the governor contact security? He did. He contacted everybody. Why was nothing done? Uh, well, well, only they can explain. Only they can explain. Come on here. Only they can explain why they allowed Okitupa to be bumped like that. And they say they don't know those who did it. They can't say so. They cannot say so. 72 hours before that thing happened, we told them. For the, Baba Dojimo called. SSC on security. He called, he, he told them. I also called him a day before. In the morning, I called again. He said he had called the area commander. He had called this, he had called that. The brigade commander was aware. What are we talking about? Look. Before they got to the prison, they knew they were going there. But I said, okay, now this is, they are killing us. Since then, they say we are not good. Hey, let us leave. Let us see how they are going to do it. You want to blame them? When you see video in 2020 of people killing the police, killing them, burning them, and cutting them and eating them. I say, hey, hey, this one chop well, well. Ha! And you know, we, are, we, we, we are not horrified. The whole we want is that the police should go, go back to do what? Let, to let, protecting you? Let, 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 let's come back to the issue of uh, the, the Okada, the restriction on, on the operation of Okada. Uh, now, uh, apart from Amotekun, you mentioned Amotekun. Yes. Which other agencies are enforcing uh, this new directive? Uh, well, uh, ordinarily, when the governor pronounces like that... It should be all security agencies. All, all of them should. Well, of course, we can... But all of them working now. Uh, we cannot, I cannot say because I don't work with them. I don't work with them, of course. I work, work. We are we are working. We are working. My office, office of the SSA on security. You know, we are we are trying to do what we can do. Then the commander of Amoteko, you know, they have, they in fact they hardly sleep now. We we are working, and we are we are we are ensuring that at least hoodlums are not given the impression that um, they can do anything with our people. But of course, you see, we are overwhelmed. There's there, there is no. No gain denying the obvious, you know, because I'm taking this to compliment. We are to move around and, you know, gather intel and pass it on to these security agencies for them to act on. But now we are left. So people are beginning to know that the police are not entirely useless, that these people you love to hate are not entirely useless. You see, we have to, we have to beg them. We have to appeal to them. We have wronged them. We should look into their welfare now. You buy, they buy their uniform. Now, those who have been killed now, you see, whatever entitlements that they are supposed to even get, they will, their children will not get. Their wives, some people will want to stay with their wives before they are even allowed to see the organ, which should process a paper and all of this. Civil servants will mess them up. Every one of us. Yeah. We should, we should, we, we should empathize. We should empathize with our fellow human beings. They are, they are Nigerians too. They also have rights too. They have rights too. They cannot come here now to, to, to complain. But I do know that you see, we treat them. Have you ever touched their uniform before? You ask them to stay under the sun. They stay there. Somebody, some idiot, some idiots somewhere is waiting to collect money from no, them. Don't let us use that word. Sorry. You know, I, I, I'm pained. You're talking about the police hierarchy? Now. Yes. I'm pained because I mean, I work with these people, I work with them. They buy their uniform. They are even denied promotion. If, yeah, if they, if, they, if they don't know they are, I mean, the so-called officers, some are given as electoral promotions over, over those who are diligent 
doesn't work. These are the people we should appeal to, we should beg them. We have wronged them. I'm not, I'm not talking about those who will lead you to ATM, the criminals who, 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 are, who, are, who will stop you on the road and, and search your phone. You know, this is this is literally that uh, from the don't, don't let us use the word idiot anymore. You, know, you know, you see, the 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 ones who work, look at the, the, the period of COVID. Some of them for two weeks we didn't allow them go home. They didn't go home. They did not go home. Okay, let, 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 let's listen to the Okada riders now and hear the outside of the story. I always say, I'll be saying, I go plead our government because all this will go on now, you know, good. Although the guy is in why we, he don't say me, everybody know they work past six o'clock. But what I'll be saying, that's six o'clock. So people will they say they learn work. Like me now, I get my own work, what they do. Sometimes, every day, every day come out like six o'clock. See me, I come also. Okay, I want to say me, everybody want to go to the house now, six o'clock now. That's no good. The only thing we have to talk, uh, we have to talk now. See me, just make the government just uh, use mercy. I've been mean, waiting. We have to talk. We have just use uh, mercy, look us because all this thing now they affect us. They affect us. We have just put like one hour or two hours during that thing, like eight thirty or eight. That one don't do okay. Anybody who they see past eight, make them arrest them. Anybody, anything they want to do, make them use and do. But that's six o'clock. It's too small. Okay, let us assume now. See people who they live for. Ah, uh, like in the area. Let me say, that is no be enter their house. How they want to take it to your house? Okay, like where they look like, where they live like, okay, uh, this place, roadblock. For their carry, their carry one, their carry two. That is no they enter. Now only back, they enter. Okay, where they, where, where they for town? They will carry that is a rich roadblock. From roadblock, they carry another uh, about carry leave their house. But now, that one not do again now. Even though people where they, where they get back, they, they, they suffer because now leg, they don't work like yesterday, like yesterday night, uh, yesterday night, now I see some, some people where they use their legs, they were carrying, they call me, and not carry anybody because I need to go my house because six to six is government. That's what I want to talk about, bros. Okay. But I will just please our government, we just add like two hours, join the team. I beg, now beg, we beg, go, you know, use uh, anything, but I beg, we beg government. Oh, pala, I giddy, 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 giddy. To the, I was set on she lost, Rolegon Six years ago, they walk in for personal about any police, any, any, I protect to back by the million because we see to any to any to much of a big to us of poly only. I do, I dig that at their possible go. I did, you got a vessel of food or your body quick on your shanua. Who's going to tell you about your buffer? Go boja six to nine or to nine o'clock and about to lay nine or nine. Because in Sir, not to at Lododo, one is all right. Because one in Batti Toshi and Sassing by one Batashi and Sassing by a polyp ball. Only a hollow cardaka deli, Lungbe, our moly, and meanwhile, King Shabo Bo, a hollow cardar, Lungbe, our moly, because she pay our re, ah, this is she. Time to a carry share, time to a carry share, own share, link, no share so far, and sing, become a wallet. Tobanica daddy, Nissis, oh, wow, okay, Nissis, he daddy come a daddy, right? Toba, kid of our Fuani, Tobale Fuani, chance, Dean Kobe, ten, Kodan Kobe, six to ten. I'm a wow, okay, go everywhere, my wow, okay, because everywhere I will go, I like a way, we go, I lost two, Kosisha, Kosemiti, Bike, it's a damn book, and it's all meant to look for Junior. Say, oh, I rattle so, Lamafiwa, oh, Waga, 
ato wo awon na se ma je un a de ni yawo lo mo nle so idi ni yen mo ma be awon joba mo de ma ro awon joba wa kan ju otori olohun kan ba wa fi time kun 6 yen ona gbogbo nkan ton se lo ton da o tori ton ba ti o ba ni di won le so pe ke kan ki ko be yen ko se lo sistosis but mba ni kan tu wa wo da da ton ma wo da da awon yan to ko se to de ni machine to ye pe machine after ise ta to close ni role ta fi machine yen sise o na fi jo o na fi se lo lo si bi se la ro jo keji but la esin yen gba te ni sis ba te lo mi de close ni bi se ni sis ba lo se fe rowo to de ni machine ko so na to fe fi rowo o ka wa na de gba mi la ta ro dale ale ma ti rowo oga to ye pe ro le gan ti ti sha wa te bi bo da fe close Okay, uh, Dr. Doing, uh, you just listen to yes, the, the Okada riders and, and they raise a lot of issues. Uh, one of them spoke in Pijin, but, but some of them, uh, the others spoke in Yoruba. And, and I think uh, what they were trying to say was that the fact that some of them, uh, they make more money in the evening uh, as from 6 p.m. Uh, le let me paint another ser scenario that I think has nothing to do with the Okada riders, but with people who work beyond 6 p.m. Let's say, for instance, nurses will go to, or some of them who are on night duty will go after 6 p.m. Uh, not all of them are mobile. Uh, some of them who are not mobile as well will want to leave their, uh, the various hospitals or centers where they work after 6 p.m. and they are not mobile. And they live in areas where uh, uh, cabs do not ply. What is the effect of that people? That means they will have to trek at night. And what th that definitely, in itself, constitute another security risk to them for having to track that distance to their you different see, thank you. you see you see it, it, there there is no time that you you can have a perfect scenario that they can have a perfect um, enforcement you know i i'll give you an instance during the time of covid when we're out at night enforcing the curfew of course, people will tell you that, you know what I mean? Their only means of livelihood was coming out in the evening, selling food, or selling water, or doing this. But we had and they were right. They and were right. And they were right. Yeah, of course, they were, they were okay. But we had an emergency. We did not want anybody to come from any... In fact, we went as far as taking people back to Ishua in the night. It was that bad. We felt it. All of us did. All of us. Even those of us in government. Anytime we were out, you, it will shock you to know that the governor will be monitoring. Be monitoring. Be calling. Until we we'll get back at 4 a.m. Go and find out. So, it, 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 I mean, this is not a time when everybody wants to say, is, uh, no, it is not normal. Is it normal that you don't have policemen working? Is it normal that you, I mean, you, you have people who are supposed to be protected by the police, turn against the police, burn their stations, kill them, it, rest it, them? It, it, it's a situation where, uh, you know, government is trying to solve a security problem. Yes. And then when you have people, just as I described earlier, who now have to trek, you know, a long distance to their home. And we're not creating every, another no, no, security no, 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 problem. No, for, for every general rule, you have an exception. I will not be out now. I'll see, I'll meet a nurse. I'll meet a nurse on Okada. A nurse, not somebody who, who, who pretends to be one. Somebody going to, I mean, you. So essential workers are exempted? Anytime, anytime. Even, even during during the war. But if you are not mobile and there are no Okada riders to take well, them to... The, the hospital management will have to make arrangements for them. Has government put that in place? Has government spoken with your hospital no, management? They, they should know. They have buses. They have buses. They collect subvention from the government. They don't look, look people should learn to, to to sacrifice. I sympathize with um, the Jeremy Okada riders, not those who who, who who have their own work like, who want to hustle in the evening. They are part of the problem. They are part of the problem. We want to solve the civil servant who do work. Who do that? Yeah, because I mean, they, 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 are, they are not captured. They are not registered. Would, would you blame them? No, no, I want to. For blame them, who, who, who salaries? Oh, forget and about that. They are trying. No, 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 no. no, no, no don't so let do us palliate the issue, what, please. What, what you call the side also? No, 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 no. Don't let us palliate the issue. I'm not. I'm not against. I'm not. I'm just looking at the, not the economic anybody. conditions of the country. No, I'm not. I'm not against anybody making any extra coins. But I'm saying that 
If you are a civil servant, are you registered? Do, you, do, do we know you? Is your name with Sita? As a card rider. As a card rider. What, 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 what if they are what if they are registered? Uh, if they are registered, so, then, so, then, then are let, registered. Let, them, let them comply for them. But of course, from from experience, most of those who operate at night are the ones who don't even collect the tickets from the government. They cheat on all fronts. They are the ones who don't. They, they are the ones who bring in smugglers. They are the ones who do all, all manner of things. They call it also. You will be arrested, and nothing will happen. We will arrest you. For those of you who think you can do what you like, they are the ones, if I, some of them, you see them. They are Okadas, don't have registration numbers. Many of these people, but the, the ones who, who complain genuinely about working, the genuine Okada riders, we, I mean, we, normal, normal times we allow them to come out at 4 a.m. during market days. And they. they and that's the stands now. You know. Hmm? That's the stance. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. They have to come out at six a.m. now. I said normal times, but of course now we have an emergency. Until normal city returns, we cannot continue to pretend and see. Look, when when armed robbers invaded Shagari, and they were moving from place to place on Okada, those who lived in that neighborhood who were sending out distress calls could not could not afford any luxury of saying, oh. Uh, maybe Okada should observe it today or they will, brought, they, should, they will be brought tomorrow. Look, what we have on our hands now is that the state is open, is porous. We have allowed criminals to come into our midst. They now go about, they celebrate, they jollificate, they celebrate the fact that they have defeated the police. What we what we can do is to ensure that those who want to sleep, those who want to leave their offices, those who want to leave markets and go home, we have, we should allow them to sleep peacefully. And because we are not many, we want to be able to expand the scope of operation so that we can cover as many areas as possible. And how do we do it? We cannot do it. Asking you to operate in 10, 11, 12. By then, any 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 armed robber who has some brains will have come, will have a hit, will have gone back. So we want to be able to say, okay, when we reduce this, then whoever is out with us, we meet us. There's somebody who was boasting that uh, any okay, any amotekun, uh, you will just lose your life for nothing. Nothing will happen. Let, no, let's say that. No, no, yeah. no, no, uh, no, no. Please, I'm saying, I mean, if, if, if you say you will attack amotekun uh, in, in the night, we will treat you like an armed robber. You know, you will just go, and nothing will happen like that. The genuine Okada riders, our people are on the field now talking to them. They know why we have to do this. There has been no decision of the government taken that has not been communicated to them. Because I, as I've always been telling people, the government is not fighting against the people. We didn't have to do this before they brought answers. From answers, you started building, you started... Are, are, you, are you blaming the, the protesters? Of instars. No, the protesters, the, 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 as I told you, the protesters... Okay, those actually, who hijacked the protesters. Uh, I mean, the protesters achieved their aim. They came up. Police brutality. The government listened immediately and they, they, they acceded to their, to their team. Immediately. Even, I mean, they went around you know, throughout Nigeria. When they came to the governor's office, the governor came out, met them, spoke with them. You know, so there was, in fact, in some instances, policemen even escorted them round. Until these are small, small boys who buy NSC, who smoke in their hemp, and on, until they became activists. And the next thing is, you know, you know, you know, you know, we could not even understand what was going on. A policeman who was walking on the road in Ondo town, you brought the guy out of the on, of his car and you asked him to death. That is answers. We later found out that those, you know, that police arrested in the past were now going after those who arrested them, those who prosecuted them. And all of us, we, we jubilated. We, we you know, we, we say hey, they were handing sash. They, 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 they went to police stations. They were burning police stations. Now, if you arrest anybody, where are you taking them to? This directive, uh, is it just in Accra or across the state? Across the state. It's across the state. Now, uh, uh, across what, 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 from what you've seen since Friday, uh, mm -hmm. th th that directive went into effect on Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what would you say about the level of compliance so far? Oh, I, I say substantially, you know, the people, it's because the people... Because of what we have had, we, we've had that there are other riders who still walk beyond. No, you see, you see, you, you, you find these people who are recalcitrant, who want to test the will of the government. 
But again, we are not out to show that oh, we have the we are government. We are, you know when you when you are confronted the government, you know you are confronted the government now. If you are able to pick one or two or three, then of course they will go. You go back home to explain to those who, you know, who escaped that ah, it's not easy. So it's not it's not about this. Of course, we have involved even traditional rulers. Let them know. Okay, they were carried along. Of well. course, they let them know this. Of course, nobody is safe now. Nobody. Everywhere is open. Now, if the police are withdrawn, if they don't go to their to any police submission, will they guide any 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 palace? You believe the palace guards? Um, politicians who feel that they are important. They are now empty, they are now naked. Everybody is walking alone. Nobody nobody will guide you. We are slipping into a state of nature. In on those states, we are just lucky. When we wanted to when the governor brought the idea of Amotekun and he sold it to other southwestern state governors, you know, people threw in politics. They said, now Amotekun is now useful. But I'm saying that Amotekun is being distracted now because we are getting to December. People are moving in from Guinea to Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger. They will come in, they are coming to rob. Because they, because they, they now know that Nigeria is so porous. Nigeria is a place where you just stroll in, kill their people, rob, collect money, then you go back. No trace. You now be analyzing the the effects, causes and effects, and you know, like you no know, like that. So Amotepo is being distracted now. Instead of now deepening the operations of Amotepo at our borders in the forest, we are now bringing them out to come and be policing uh, Shagari, uh, Wena, Gaga, and all of these places. Okay, just a minute, uh, Dr. Adebali. We, earlier this morning, I spoke on the phone with the uh, the commandant of the Amotek in Ondo State, that is Chief uh, Adele. Adele. Uh, let's quickly listen to him. We are part of the enforcement. It's not solely for Amotek. All the security agencies in the state has the responsibility of enforcing the laws of the land. So, so I have been thinking since Friday because some of the things we are hearing is that uh, some of the Okada riders have not been following the directive. Well, that is true to an extent. Um, and, you know, we have to be a bit soft in enforcing it. In the first place, what informed this decision is the sudden upsurge of criminal activities within the state. And about 80% of all of such uh, robberies, shooting, uh, were traced to either from the same Okada, out of the same Okada, during the operation Okada. So that was why we said, okay, any Okada will now stay in the line. We'll have to explain if it doesn't belong to the essential services, then we know they have questions to answer. Yesterday, for instance, at 5 o'clock, we went to seven major junctions of Okada to enlighten them. We did public enlightenment on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Then we started enforcement at 12 midnight. In conjunction with other security agencies, we moved at the team. Uh, from the statement put out by the government of last Friday, uh, anybody who flouts that directive will have his motorcycle impounded. After impounding such, what what then will happen thereafter? Is it that they will have to pay some before you give it back to them or what? I think the position of government is that they should be impounded first. It's now the responsibility of government to tell us what to do next. I, I think they might end up being fined. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Okay, that was the uh, the Amotekun uh, co-commandant in Odo State. Uh, you just listen to him. And uh, uh, it is safe to say that Dr. Debo Ali, the Okada people, is under, they are under your office. Yes. Am, I, am I correct? Yes. Okay, now. I supervise Okay, so I, I ask a question. The governor said that uh, both uh, tinted uh, vehicles yes. uh, that are without permit mm -hmm. will be impounded. Same thing goes for Okada riders who will be on 6 p.m. Now, when these motorcycles are impounded, uh, what is the process of retrieving uh, the motorcycle? Let's will there be a sanction? Let's even leave the issue of retrieval now. Why do you want to even flout? 
let us let us let us let us restrain ourselves to why everybody must obey first you know as the security agencies are mopping up as they are doing they are mopping up operations they say we should assist them we should not even be talking about where how they will get there where they will get but that, you agree with me that that will certainly happen oh, so much, they, motorcycles will be impounded we will and some of these guys will come to say they want to retrieve we will impound if it continues we may crush we may crush cannot you know, give back to them we may crush and we may prosecute you you see we are talking about the security of lives and property now you are need to you cannot be more than the state who are you who are you so because you want to make some quick box you don't want to start we should now open the state so that people will just come in then they shoot they shoot they keep people like that and they move away they move away like that will we allow that to happen no we cannot i won't be discussing whether we will release or whether we not release whether i'm fine any 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 time you talk about fine you see more often than not that some somebody somewhere wants to steal money wants to you know provide justice we are not interested in anything fine comply you just are the commander of of of, 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 of you cannot be on essential service if you are indeed a nurse if you are a nurse you are coming from a like car you went to a nightclub we will mess you up but if you are a nurse and you are coming from the hospital you are you are on you are on duty of course we are not mad did, did government we think did about the impact of this directive on businesses especially those that uh, uh people who do their businesses in the evening later in the evening you mentioned night club we we, we just we, we we and also sell at night like these street traders we've been we, we we've been through this before you know why i'm asking you that dr Devali, dr Bar you know why i'm asking you that mm. we've had covid 19. yes that certainly affected the economy affected and then after the that we came and came up yeah that in a way also affected the economy yes and then with this new directive now yes is government thinking that this directive is not closing the economy and it's not saying no cars don't move it's saying that look what, what about those who sell in the evening and who do not have means of getting back to oh let them stay where they are selling until 6 a.m let them sleep over let them let them, do street they, traders. Let them do whatever they want to do i'm sorry people can you know so because you want to sell so uh, people should come in and keep people they should go in and be raping people and be asking them where hey, i bring out the food no 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 please don't let us realize it, it is very serious you want to sell yeah go and sell now nobody's saying you should not sell they're not asking you not to sell so when you sell now the government should provide vehicles that will take you home let, let, let me paint another scenario for you uh, you know i asked you a question earlier that uh, government is trying to solve a security problem and yes. that uh when a government did not in any way think that maybe through that we could be creating uh another security uh problem now uh -huh. we, i mentioned the case of somebody who is coming even if somebody on essential duty who is coming in the evening uh, the person will be left anybody on essential and, duty. and, and, and uh, let's say for instance a lady or a, a lady who, have, who who will have to trek to wh where she uh she's living at night uh alone this no, could let, let that lady, they, they could be raped no let that lady live wherever she is now and start going home you know and i leave work no which work are you going to do beyond for if you are a civil servant i'm not saying civil servant i said That's even if you are an essential duty you're not mobile if you're if you're on essential duty for whoever, instance you're a journalist and yeah, you're not mobile let your employer provide means of taking you around to your doorstep it, it's an emergency now which they should do that they should do that if, if, if you're an essential duty whoever believes that your your the services you are rendering are important should provide for you if you're a nurse now and somebody need your attention in the hospital let them send the ambulance let them send the ambulance they get money they get subventions for all to run the, all of these things so nobody will blackmail the government that it, if you're an essential duty so called if you are if you i mean during covid we will we, we, we meet doctors we say, oh, and we are on call. Okay. Then some of these Yahoo boys are in a like back. They, they, they went to get stethoscope and they became. We mess them up. We ask them to come down, sit on the ground. You know? How did you know they were not doctors? Oh, of course. You, they know, have no you, you, see, you see them. You see, you know, you know a doctor. You know a Yahoo person. You know, if you, I mean, if you, if, you, if, if, if you go out with us, you see all of these boys. You know, you see all these boys. The, great, the, the, the greatest threat. To our security in Undo State now, are these Yahoo boys? They are celebrating that the policemen are not around. Go to Alabaka, go to Ijapo, go to all of these places at night. 
you will marvel at how parents have abdicated their responsibilities. You know, their children have been lost. They have been lost. Now people coming from Ibadan, coming from Edo, coming from Akure is safe for criminals now. That is their impression. They go to all of these hotels and they celebrate. So we will not allow you or Kada to move freely. Yahoo, you think your your glass will catch you, we will mess you up. We will mess you up. Then you you are, you are, you are a big man. Your own car, no registration number. Oh, you will meet us on the road. We will meet us on the road. Whether you are, you are too big, only the governor and the deputy governor are permitted to cover their plates. Then those who work in security services, once they are inside themselves, you know. But every, you know, inconsequential element you find around, you find them covering their plate numbers, using tinted glass. Where did they go to? Go to Alagbaka, night club. Where? Ijabo. Where again? You see, this will stop. Even after our, after normal returns, you cannot throw open your state for criminals as we have done. Uh, Doctor Dr. Debali, uh, the, the problem of insecurity is not only in Ondo State. No, 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 it's, no, no, a, no. it's across the country. Uh, but now, I'm now, in now, 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 my question to you is this uh, you know that all over the world, uh, when you talk about development, you talk about even distribution of wealth, you talk yes. about social inclusion, yes, that yes, yes. have to do in a way with security. Yes. Uh, what other ways do you think the Ondo State government could go about this? Because you agree with me that unemployment has a, a lot to do with this as well. Uh, where with, uh, people, uh, are want to, people are not employed, people who are idle hands who want to. So, what are that? What are that measures would the Ondo State uh, government put in place to, uh, apart from the security, the uh, uh, banning or cada uh, uh, or getting security men out on the street? Ah, uh, well, you see, you know, this is an interim measure, and of course, I'm governors, talking about the long term now. Eh, uh, you see, it's a process. It is a process. I, I would want to, you know, I want us to adapt our minds to the issue of real capacity building. That is what we solve the problem in a long term. Capacity, capacity building in the sense I see we, we pretend to be training engineers. We have faculties of engineering all over the country. Everywhere is a pretentious uh, work site. But our children are not made to understand these people who come to swindle us. They say they are contractors. That is a major failing on the part of all of us. Curriculum. Development is about the people. Development is measured in terms of how you interact with your natural environment. Then those who live in that environment, how they are able to tame nature, how they are able to, you know. So you build capacity of those who are in this place to be able to confront the challenges we face as a people. We are not doing that, seriously speaking. We embark on certification what you've seen you are in government yes. but what you've seen as an insider not just in Nondo state but even at the federal level do you think that government is serious about doing that the government is on the right path well I because mean, every time that issues come up uh, the federal government will say we're doing this we're doing that we're yeah we see it, it, uh, there's a difference between having policies some policies and um, having it implemented implementation of some policies too is key and who are these people if you have those who don't even believe in what you are saying as a government then you have a problem whose fault is that don't put them in office then i'm saying that you see you know the, the government cannot recruit from heaven you recruit from the society and you recruit from those who then from those who play politics you have to be politically correct and do and you do this but again see that is just by the way if we are in this serious about building the capacity of our children so that not all of them will now see Yahoo Yahoo as the, as the, as the only, way out. Uh, as the only way out. Or get rich quick uh, 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 like, like that. You see this Isheke Kedo one man last syndrome, you know, you you know, praying for miracle when you don't work. What you do has to start with the curriculum. Anybody who is over twenty now, we have almost lost. Why don't we just concentrate on our children and try to see what we teach them? We've been teaching our children alienation from their credul until they become adults so when they become adults they become they are so alienated they are so you know frustrated they, are so, they don't even understand anything about this society and they feel that the government has done nothing for them which will not be correct to train a graduate in a university the government pays a lot 
a lot goes into the training of one graduate. But that graduate says, nothing has been done for me because the person is, 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 is disconnected between what he or she claims to have studied and the needs of the society. You see that, you see, the person feels unwanted. You are not begging for a job. You are begging. It, it is scandalous. 40 million of your own children unemployed, even unemployable. Unemployable, not even unemployable. Unemployable. That is the crisis. We have to think about it seriously now. Then people are complaining about onions and tomato. They're getting expensive. I laugh. I laugh. It means if you are unable to feed yourselves, if your children don't plant what you eat, if they are not the ones fixing your rules, let them make their mistakes and correct these mistakes. Then you have, you are, you are, you are, you are just bringing up a colo um, colonies okay, of Dr. slaves. Dr. Odebali, because of our time, earlier this morning, I spoke mm -hmm. as well with a security expert, uh, Mr. Abu Adams. And this is what he thinks about the Okada ban and all the security issues in Nigeria. You see, eh? we, we are in a country where we don't look at uh, the implications of policies before we, we, we shun them out. And sometimes we think we are solving problems, but we'll be creating more problems. Like you have rightly said, uh, um, apart from, uh, apart from uh, even um, the civil servants that need to go home, businessmen that need to go home after 6 o'clock and things like that, you will agree with me that when you ban Okada not to go out on, uh, after, after 6, that means you have banned all businesses even long before six, because people must shut down to begin to run to their homes or else they have no means of going home. You can imagine the economic loss at that, uh, at that level. Don't forget also that we are just coming out of uh, is a NSAS pro uh, protest, and as a result of NSAS pro uh, um, protest, police have not been forthcoming uh, as they are supposed to be because of the fear of being attacked and being killed. You know how they kill policemen across the country during these protests. And uh, they, are, they, are, they are off the road, it's justifiable. So, because they have their own life to live through. So, I think uh, government should think of a uh, way of, um, of uh, empowering security agencies and the various uh, components of security architecture, like the, the neighborhood watch, the vigilante, the amotecos, to, to monitor uh, criminal elements rather than banning Okada because the, ban, the, the negative uh, uh, impact of the ban is more than whatever uh, benefit we think we are, we, are, we are getting from the security point of view. As a security expert, what, what, yeah. what other ways, apart from empowering uh, the security architecture, what other ways uh, do you think government can really ensure security what other ways because why i'm asking you this question i know that anywhere in the world that development and even distribution of wealth and inclusion have everything to do with security see uh, i've said this several times and what we've seen this country and outside the country let us look at other nations any country that the unemployment is high you know, the criminal activities are always on the high side. I mean, look at China. Our le their level of I mean, violence and criminal activities are not as much as they are in, 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 in the third world because there is so much. Until we are ready to, to, to do things, bring back the factories where people can work, bring back things that can engage people profitably, these criminal activities cannot go down. Look at the, the, the Boko Haram in the north. It is very prevalent in the north because of their level of, uh, of uh, education, very low. And so these are issues. But Nigerian politicians will never think about it. They will think about their pocket, their immediate family, the money that is supposed to be used for such things. How can you, Im can you, can you imagine the quantum of employment that will be generated, for instance, if we are producing all the petrol that we consume in Nigeria and export? If we are producing iron in Ajakuta, I, 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 I mean, that we use in this country in the construction industry. But no one, none of the political leaders from the beginning, from independence to today, has been able to do anything positive. So for me, we are just deceiving ourselves. We, we, what you, you've seen, government policies at the federal level and at the state level, 
Would you say that government is going in that direction of uh, ensuring they that... They are not. They are not. There is nothing they are doing at the present uh, to address the issue. There is nothing. I have not seen anything that, that, can, that they are doing that will bring back uh, uh, the textile uh, industry in Kaduna, the textile factories in Kaduna, uh, the, the, the ones in, uh, in uh, Rizado. Uh, I mean, all the factories in, uh, 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 of Kaduna in those days uh, all have gone commercials. Nothing they are doing to bring them back. And as long as they are not doing anything to bring these factories back, I mean, these companies back for people to work, you are just running out of educated people doing nothing. Criminal activities are not diminished. That's the truth. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Abu Adams. Thank you very I much. I appreciate you. God. Dr. Dobali, I, I, know, I, I know you listened with rapt attention and you were itching to talk. Yes. Before I, we go, uh, I, would you, you want to respond to that? Yes, I just want to uh, say that any country that um, promotes crass consumerism cannot make it. Production is key. But you see, the last speaker, you know, contradicted himself, you know, at some point when he said, oh, Oh, uh, the government, the government, who, who is the government? The government should empower Amotekun to do more, to empower security agencies. We are saying that these security agencies are not forthcoming. They you know, will now have only Amotekun. That they are just coming out gradually. You don't throw money at problems. You have to identify the problems. What we have now is that of personnel. And we have to manage what we have. We cannot. If we want to be sincere with our people, we don't want to deceive them, we, don't want, to, we want to be politically correct, we want them to clap for us as we are allowing them to eat so that others can be killed. Comply with the directive now and no, I mean, and just for, it's, it's, it's for a while. I want to quickly debunk what he said about uh, politicians during the First Republic. He was mentioning textile industries. These textile industries were not put in place by the colonialists. The, the politicians who did their political leaders. The industrial estates you had in Oregon, in Ekeja, by Obafi Maolo, he was a politician in the true sense of the word, not Ojelu, he was an Ojelu. You know, then you, you know, go to any place and do you have any difference between residential quarters and uh, commercial quarters? There's nothing there because nothing works again. Even the civil servants who is supposed to ensure that you, you know, talking about town planning. He's collecting money and he's, and he's, he's, he's misbehaving. Everywhere cannot be a shop. Buying and selling is not a sign of an economy that is um, thriving. No. Crass consumerism can only produce what an agbero set of people. You cannot produce those who manufacture. No, it's a lie. You have to go back to the curriculum. You have to begin to train, to build the capacity of your children. Your children must plant what you eat first. That is the but in the long run, Dr. Luade, do you agree that something should be done about the disruption of wealth in Nigeria? Obviously, if you don't do it, look, NSAS just jolted some people. You know, so that it is possible for people to come into your house and bring you out and kill you. Something much worse will happen if you leave 40 million of your children confused as they are now. It's going to be difficult. Let nobody deceive you. So you agree something has to give? Something will give. Something He mentioned China. You are talking about collectivization of labor. In China, nobody nobody, nobody delivers seminars over uh, agriculture, over banking, and all of these things. You, you misbehave, you are killed immediately. You have to collectivize labor. You must own the process. The people must, must know that you, you, are, you are working for them. Agriculture must not be about seminars, as we are doing in this country. You know, our children must know that unless they feed themselves, they are slaves. Then when they get that certificate, the diploma or the degree you give them, they should exude confidence enough to show you that, look, I am a problem, I'm a, I'm a problem solver. I'm going to solve problems in this area where I've been trained by the state in, in, in the First Republic. Our, 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 our parents were sent abroad to go and study engineering and they were on board. They, called, they, they came back. They came to work in the ministries. They supervised Taylor Woodrow, Sole Bonnet, and uh, all of the Guvanti to fix these arrows. They designed one man from Ekiti, designed Bodija and Ekeja, housing estates. After the coup of 1966, he went back to become a principal in a secondary school in Ekiti. In a kitty, you know how the literates who said that I'm a professional politician. What was the meaning of that? So, 
we 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 should go back education education Education. Thank you very much, Dr. Odoyo Adebo Senior Special Assistant to the uh, Governor of Ondo State on Special Duties. I thank, thank you for coming me. on the program. My name is Dimitri Danes, and this is where we'll draw the curtain on this edition of the Roundtable. Uh, good afternoon, and thanks for listening. <music>